Tian Tao, Heart Attack Tao, Thick Boy Tao. The Chinese sensation known by many of the best weightlifters in the world as the greatest cleaner in the world, perhaps due to his defining 236 kilo clean at the 2018 World Championships. With an international success rate of 48%, the only weightlifter to my knowledge with such a low percentage, Tian Tao is a walking juxtaposition. A warrior mentality who makes people laugh. Someone who bombs out but sets world records. One of the greatest ever, but with relatively few medals to his name. This is Tian Tao's story. Born in 94, Tian Tao began weightlifting at the age of 10, and by the age of 17 in 2011, he was already lifting numbers that were unheard of, even within the secret world of Chinese weightlifting, showing more promise than that of Lu Jiazhen and, and Liao Hui at that age. Kept in-house and so not at official IWF sanctioned meets, Tian Tao was not only reaching youth world records, but he was, he was exceeding them by plates, as in he was lifting multiple plates more than the best in the world. As a 77 at the 2011 Chinese Intercity Games, Tian exceeded the youth world record by 8 kilos in the snatch and by 20 kilos in the clean and jerk with 163 and 205. That's 30 kilos over the youth world record in the total, even beating the junior world record. And to show what an anomaly Tian Tao was at that age, this 205 clean and jerk was equal to the most that the king of the 77s, Lu Zhaozhen, would ever make in that weight category internationally. At just 18 years of age, Tian attempted to qualify for the London 2012 Olympics, figuring that the 77 kilo category would be easier than attempting to out-total his teammate and reigning Olympic champion Lu Yong in the 85s. Though totaling 365 kilos as an attempt to qualify, Tian was not selected, and in fact it was here that he injured his elbow, something that would plague his entire career, and was one of the driving factors for the inconsistency of his lifts and the creation of the nickname Tian Heart Attack Tao. At this point he made the switch from the power jerk to the squat jerk, because his coach said that it would lower the impact on the elbow due to the greater time and room to absorb the load. Tian scraped just two lifts together at the National Games of China, which qualified him for the World Championships in 2013, his first senior international meet. Here, he also competed as an 85 kilo weightlifter. Tian made his opening snatched, missed his second, missed his third, and then withdrew from the competitions, not completing a single clean and jerk. The following year, and he was able to channel at least some of the talent that he'd shown three years prior as a youth weightlifter winning the 2014 Asian Championships. The 20 year old snatched 163 kilos and then despite a miss at 211, he jumped from 205 all the way to 218, equaling the world record at the time and setting a new junior world record, two kilos over Ilya Ilyans. And so when he got it right, you could see that Tian Tao's clean and jerk was unparalleled, incomparable, unbeatable. With the wind in his sails, he headed to the 2014 World Championships in Almaty, and despite snatching a personal record 170 kilos, the only time he would ever make his first two snatches at a World Championships, he ended up placing sixth. Just as at that previous competition, Tian had made his 205 kilo opener, missed his 211 kilo second attempt, and then jumped an extra kilo to 219 kilos for a world record attempt. The clean was easier than you'd expect, but the jerk was off. This was, again, one of the many great heart attack moments from Tian. Over the following years, we saw some incredible training lifts. Jaw dropping cleans, jerks, squats, a 220 kilo clean, two kilos over the world record, a 225 kilo clean and jerk, at seven kilos over the world record, a 230 kilo clean, it's 12 kilos over, a 180 kilo snatch, and a set of six in the back squat at 270 kilos, a weight he would one day do for a set of 10. Now come the 2015 World Championships, and despite his many missed competition lifts, and because of his huge training lifts, Tian Tao was arguably the favourite, certainly up there with the likes of the Iranian Kianush Rustami. And so with a huge 8 kilo personal record and gold medal in the snatch at 178 kilos, Tian finally looked posed for a World Championship medal in the total. 
but having attempted and missed 211 kilos three times in his career up until that point, Tian decided to open with that same weight. First attempt, miss, chest pain. Second attempt, miss, shortness of breath. Third attempt, cleans it, shooting pains, jerks it, tachycardia, misses it and bombs out, full blown heart attack. Come the 2016 Olympic Games in Rio and Tian was only growing into his nickname more. After missing his opening two attempts in the snatch at 173 and 178 kilos, he came out and landed the 178 on his third attempt. The most impressive save of his career, rocking back and forth in the squat, coming up onto his toes before standing up straight. He did mention in an interview years later that he's the type of athlete to get more amped as the competition goes on, and that due to his temperament he's more likely to make third attempts than he is first attempts. And really it was here at this competition that Tian was able to somewhat turn around his streak of bombing out on most important lifts. And so after making his third attempt in the snatch, he missed his first two lifts in the clean and jerk too at 210 kilos. And then with one attempt remaining, he jumped all the way up to an Olympic record 217 kilos and made it for the silver medal in the total. And with the roar, he had finally received a senior international medal at a major event. Now this competition perfectly demonstrates what it is about Tian that makes him so compelling to us, the fans. Miss, miss, make, just. Miss, miss, go up seven kilos, set an Olympic record, and walk away with a silver medal. Two years later and weightlifting underwent a massive change in 2018. With so many retroactive drug tests, the IWF decided that the current world records were too high, inaccessible for the supposedly cleaner wave of new weightlifters. And so the weight class has changed, and Tian was forced to make a decision. Do I cut down to 81 and compete with, at the time, an Olympic champion and three-time world champion Lu Zhaozhen, or move all the way up to 96 kilos and compete with the big boys? Guys like Sarab Muradi, the second Iranian lifter after Kenu Shrestami who would push him to enormous heights. He chose the latter, he said, because to cut down to 81 kilos would require a loss in muscle mass and less muscular protection of his already injured elbow. Tian found the transition up to 96 kilos difficult both mentally and physically. On his first attempt to gain the weight, he gained too much fat, telling in an interview a, a pretty funny story in hindsight about a personal trainer in China, unaware of who he was, offering to help him slim down and lose the gut. Tian also has very small hands, which in conjunction with weight gain made snatching even harder than it already was. Training and nutrition also had to change significantly for him. Four meals a day, his fourth and final being as late as 11pm, and the additional bodybuilding training, as he recalls, went from three sets of 10 repetitions for a couple of exercises a day to more than six sets of 10 repetitions for each exercise in an effort to gain as much lean muscle tissue as possible. And so gone internationally since 2016, the once lean 85 kilo Tian Tao returned to the 2018 World Championships weighing 96 kilos. Here facing arguably the greatest weightlifter in the world at the time, Sarab Muradi, who was coming off the back of an Olympic title, a world title, and holder of three world records in the previous 94 kilo weight category. And at this World Championships in 2018, Tian had a career high in the snatch at 181 kilos, five kilos below Sarab Muradi, who just set a world record at 186 kilos. And so he moved into the clean and jerks in second place. The battle in the clean and jerk to follow was legendary. After making his first two attempts, something that Tian had never done before and would never do again, he was set on a new personal record and a world record clean and jerk of 226 kilos, an incredible moment of redemption and justification for his weight gain. It didn't last long though as Sarab Muradi moved the record up to 230 kilos, both with one attempt remaining. Instead of admitting defeat in the total and attempting to reclaim the world record and gold in the lift of 231, Tian jumped to a staggering 236 kilo clean and jerk a weight that no weightlifter in a two-digit weight category has ever made in the history of the sport. And then with laughable ease tossing out preconceptions about what weightlifters were capable of just totally out of the window, Tian made the clean and then narrowly missed the jerk. And though Muradi then cleaned 237 kilos and also missed the jerk, the ease with which Tian Tao had done it showed us who was physically stronger of the two. 
and so Tian Tao was finally a world silver medalist. With Sarab injured the following year, Tian won gold at the 2019 Asian Championships, then turned up to the World Championships as the out-and-out -out favourite. With Sarab out, and then with Keanu Tristami, his old enemy who had also bulked up, injured and bombing out in the snatches, no one could really stand in Tian's way. No one except, perhaps, a very young Qatari lifter called Miso Hisona. Two months prior to this, Tian Tao had actually set a new world record in this new weight category in the clean and jerk at 231 kilos at a smaller international competition. Despite being gifted such an open field with Iran Sarab Maradi absent from competition, Tian still opened up true to his name, missing his first two attempts at 175 kilos in the snatch before risking it all by jumping up 5 kilos to take the lead in the snatch with 180 kilos on his third and final attempt. He made it, leading over Mesa Sona by 2 kilo. After a 224 kilo clean and jerk by Mesa Sona on his second attempt for the lead, Tian missed 225 kilos on his second attempt, and thus he took a risk and didn't take his third attempt here, believing that Mesa had more in the tank. And so what this means is that he would rather take the final lift of the competition for the win, fueling his temperament that thrives off the pressure. Miso bit at 230 kilos and missed, leaving Tian with 230 kilos, a personal record for the win. And in true heart attack fashion, he made the lift with a rock back on the heels in the jerk. 15 years after taking up the sport, his fifth world championships, finally, finally Tian Tao was a world champion. And I was there for it, I was metres away, and I have to say, having followed his career so in depth, it was amazing to see. Over the following year and a half, Tian struggled with injury. Though he had the most roby points in the category heading into the Olympics in Tokyo, and despite the biggest competitor, Sarab Maradi, injured and out of Tokyo, Team China still opted to not select him, deeming him too much of a risk. His ability to miss the majority of lifts and then make jumps and set world records and win medals was just too much for the selection team to handle. And so despite being the best 96 kilo weightlifter in the world, his inconsistencies made him an unsuitable candidate. In a relatively heartbreaking interview after receiving the news, Tian thanked his fans from all over the world, congratulated Miso Sona preemptively on what would be, and what was, an easy win at that Olympics, for sure, and then announced his retirement. As all Chinese weightlifters do, Tian's official retirement came at the Chinese National Games. Here he still won, and then in typical Tian fashion, he requested a new world record at 232 kilos. He walked out onto the platform, looking as though he was holding in a joke, as though he knew something that we didn't know. Tian has always had a way of making people laugh, and just as he walks to go onto the platform, you can hear his coach say, at least do a pull. And guess what? Tian didn't even do that. Tian trolled the crowd, pretending to lift the weight overhead, but instead he yelled out, I'll do it at the next Olympics. And so Tian, right there and then, unretired himself. Or did he? Tian heart attack Tao, you just never quite know. Will he bomb out, or will he hit a world record? The excitement with Tian lies in between the attempts as he balances on the tightrope of success and failure. And right now, we wait in silence in the longest gap so far. Will we see him next year as he attempts to qualify for Paris? Or was it all a joke? And that's just how Tian Tao plays the game. Tian heart attack Tao, the greatest cleaner the world ever saw. Now if you enjoyed this and you want to learn more about other weightlifters, you can grab a copy of my book, The Greatest Weightlifters of All Time. The link's down below. Oh, and please like and subscribe for more of this sort of content.